What is up? Just finished day seven of the 12 days of fitness. It was a seven minute ab workout. I did the Athlean seven minute ab workout. I'm not gonna lie, that was like actually really, really hard. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a video because I, I forgot my camera and I've been messing up basically. So I'm using my phone. But we just got back home from the uh, from the the gym, hit chest, triceps, then the ab workout. We got some food cooking up right now, or heating up right now. It's like a steak stir fry that I made on my Blackstone. So it feels good, but my abs were so dead. Like the seven minute ab workout was brutal. It was just like a compilation of like, it was like eight exercises for like 30 to 60 seconds a piece with like two breaks at 30 seconds for like the whole time. So it was kind of brutal, uh, but it felt really good. I think I'm gonna definitely incorporate one of those ab routines like once per week after this, just because it felt good to get my abs like stimulated like that. Um, but yeah, no, it was a good day. Day seven was easy. Tomorrow I'm excited. It's just eight hours of sleep, super simple. I need to, I need to make sure I'm catching up on my sleep. Last night I did not sleep well, didn't feel too well. Uh, waking up this morning, it was hard for me to get up. So we'll see, but it's crazy. We're like flying through this 12 days of challenge and Christmas is almost here. I have to finish up some Christmas shopping today. I have to, or the gifts won't get to my family down in Florida. Um, so I'm gonna finish that up today. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm happy with how it's going. And kind of like I said last night, it was just like, these are just like little things to do. It just gets you moving and it's really fun to incorporate. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is almost 7 a.m. I went to bed at like 9.45, I fell asleep. Um, Cause I was in bed at like 9.30 and then I was just laying there till like, probably like 9.45 and fell asleep. So day eight was sleep eight hours, which I really needed. Um, I was supposed to, I, I got the days mixed up and I was supposed to do like 80 second planks. And I thought that was, I thought I swapped that to eight hours of sleep, which is on the beginner side. So I didn't even look at it and I went for it. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna get my eight hours of sleep and be good. Um, which I'm fine with because to be honest, I needed it. I haven't slept eight hours in like a little bit like this whole week, this whole time, and even prior to that. So sleep in eight hours was like really good for me. We're on day nine now. So we did sleep eight hours. And then now today is day nine, which we have mobility, nine minutes of mobility, um, which I'll be doing today. So yeah, let's enjoy today. I'm making my coffee, getting the day started and day nine will be fun what is up day 10 of the 12 days of fitness this is gonna be crazy i have to do 100 pull-ups tonight it is 9 p.m so i'm getting late i played golf all day today i have to go do 10 sets of 10 pull-ups i'm gonna start off with as many reps i can do like body weight but i'm definitely gonna have to do assisted over time just because i can't do 100 pull-ups but we're gonna push them and see how it goes um and kind of go from there so 9 p.m i'm gonna take some pump and let's get after it all right so i failed so I got all the way up to day 10. I know the day nine was missing. I did do the nine minutes of mobility. I just didn't film any of it. I couldn't. I got to the gym and I just, I had to use my phone to watch the video and I forgot my camera and the SD card and everything. But going into day 11 and 12, I actually failed. I didn't do the squats and I didn't do the burpees. And to be honest, like, yeah, it's a little, it sucks that I didn't do it and it can be overwhelming. But I think it also ties into the fact of like, it's okay to fail at certain things and not complete certain things, especially during the holidays. It was it was tough for me. Like it was it was hard. I was really really busy with a bunch of uh, family plans. It was very inconvenient. I couldn't get to the gym to do the squats because I wanted to do weighted squats. Um, I didn't do the burpees. I didn't have time. I was just enjoying the time I had with friends and family. And it could be a little, you know 
hard because it's like I want to do this challenge and finish it, but it also goes to show that even like everyone can struggle around the holidays. Like this is what I do for a living. This is kind of my full-time thing. So even though fitness is my full-time job, I still have days where I'm going to miss. And so I know the next challenge I go into, I definitely want to complete it, but it's okay. Like the holidays is supposed to be a fun time. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with not following your diet or your workout plan or not being perfect, it's okay to fail during this time. It's okay to miss a couple of days. It's okay to do these things because now my focus going for the rest of the year and after this challenge and after the holidays and going to New Year's and next year is like, I'm getting right back on track. I've already been training again. I've already been dieting. I've been hitting my protein. That's the unfortunate part about the holidays. For those of you that followed this challenge and you guys completed it all the way day one through 12, well, you beat me, congrats. I'm super, super pumped for you. Super happy way to, way to put it in. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys learned that like doing little things like this every single day or having some type of healthy lifestyle is really beneficial and this can carry over to the beginning of next year. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had a, a great time watching it. I hope you guys participated. Um, but also let me know how you did in this challenge down below. And with that being said, have a great day and embrace the journey.